Okay, we've got an email here asking about Iblis, the devil, Lucifer. And is he a fallen angel? If so, how do you justify that angels can turn against God? And well, we don't have that problem in Islam, by the way. In Islam, we know that the devil exists, but he's not from the angels. The, the angels are made from light or nur. But the devil, he's coming from another creation of Allah called the jinn. The jinn were created after the angels and they were given free will. Whereas angels have no free will, they always do only what Allah orders them to do. The jinn, like human beings, can make choices what to do with their lives. They live a lot longer than we do, but they still die and they still have choices. Some of them, by the way, are Muslims. Some are Christians. Some are Jews. Some don't believe in anything. Others believe in the fire worship and so on. What we know from Islam is that the jinn are the ones who, before human beings, were allowed to make the choices of what they wanted to believe and what they wanted to do. And this is the case of Iblis or Lucifer. He was allowed to go all the way up with angels because he was worshiping Allah so much. But then when Allah ordered him to bow down because of the creation of Adam, all of the angels were ordered at the same time bow down and they all bowed down, but not Iblis. He had a choice and he exercised that option not to bow down because he said, I'm better than him. His arrogance led him away from the truth of Islam and he said, I'm better than him, meaning uh, Adam, because Adam is made from mud and I'm made from a smokeless fire and because of my substance, I must be better than him. Well, this kind of arrogance takes people out of Islam and it's a good lesson for us as Muslims to be careful of. Don't get this kibber. Kibber means to have arrogance, to show off, to have too much of false pride. Something forbidden, by the way, also in Judaism, Christianity and Islam. Avoid that. Pride goes before the fall, as they say. And I want to encourage myself to stay away from that as well. Now, uh, as far as more information about Iblis, you can get it on our website. And, uh, okay, we'll get another one. What is the history of the Bible and how can I get more information about the Bible? All right, both of these, you, uh, you can go to the same website to get more information. Yes, you can go, first of all, for the subject of the devil, the shaitan, visit our website called islamnewsroom.com and type in the keyword either iblis or devil or shaitan. And then uh, for the other one about the Bible, you can go to our website called 911bible.com or another new site we have called bibleislam.com. And, oh, we ran out of time. That's the end of the mailbox for today. But until next time, peace. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.